So when it comes down to the final measurement and cut for the handrail, it really comes down to what the homeowner or the customer's preference is. Typically what we do for an installation, if you take a look right down here, you'll see the edge of the bracket underneath the top rail, and we'll add anywhere from three to five inches to ensure a nice aesthetic look. So our next step in this is to actually make our final cuts on the top rail that we've already measured so that we can go and do the installation. Now always remember when you're cutting, especially metals, you wanna make sure that you have the proper safety gear to ensure you don't get a shard of aluminum in your eye or, or anything like that, because it can happen. So we're gonna go ahead and put the ear protection on and do this cut. A quick pro tip for you, take some blue or green painter's tape and mark where the cut's gonna go to ensure we get a nice clean cut every time. And just like that, it's a nice simple cut. If you're not experienced with metal fabrication, we use a non-ferrous blade. Just go to Home Depot or Lowe's, any of your construction supply houses, and they have blades for chop saws made specifically for aluminum.